Hi guys and welcome to Intuition Study Services. In today's episode, we'll be answering one of life's most intriguing questions. Are girls evil? And if not, then what are they? Let's use maths to help us solve this problem. Now ladies, don't hate. This is just for entertainment purposes only. So we're just having a bit of fun. So let's go on the premise that when guys date girls or when they court girls, that they have to spend time and money on them. So girls equals time and money. And very commonly in maths, the word and can be replaced with times or with the time symbol. So girls equals time times money. But it's also a known fact that time is money. So with simple substitution, we find that girls equals money times money or money squared. Now it's very commonly said that money is the root of all evil. And since girls equal money squared, by simple substitution, we can see that girls equal the root of all evil squared. And since the square root gets cancelled by the squared, this simplifies to just evil. So therefore, girls equal evil. But wait, there's more. In the beginning, we said that girls equal time and money. But sometimes we tend to say that girls equal time plus money. And since time is money, girls equal money plus money. Now money is still the root of all evil. But who are we kidding? The root of all evil is just evil. So that would make money equals evil. So therefore, if we make the substitution, girls equal evil plus evil. Or girls equal too evil. So does that mean girls are too evil instead of just evil? Okay girls, I apologize. I can admit when I'm wrong. These proofs are mathematically invalid. I made a mistake. Remember when we took the square root of evil? Well, we can all agree that evil is an inherently negative concept. And since we can't take the square root of a negative value, what we can do is we can make evil positive by putting some absolute value signs around it. So we have absolute evil. So therefore, in proof one, when we said girls equal evil, we see now that girls equal absolute evil. And in proof two, we said that girls are too evil. But since two is a positive value as well, we see that two absolute evil is just the same as absolute two evil. So therefore, we can see that girls are absolutely too evil. Hmm, they're even more evil than I ever imagined. No wonder, it's starting to make sense now. I hope you enjoyed this video about fun mathematical proofs. Feel free to leave a like, comment, or share with anyone who you feel you might enjoy this. For more really cool maths videos, feel free to check out Intuition Study Services on YouTube. And do subscribe for all the latest lightning maths tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.